That's right, the Betaflight Configurator is now going online. If you proceed to app.betaflight.com in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, the Configurator, the latest version, the latest nightly builds of the Configurator will be there. Now at this time, this is only for use with the latest nightly builds of Betaflight. So if you're checking out a 4.6 or any of the PRs or merge or pull requests or doing any testing or just wanna do a little playing in the sandbox, that's what you would use this for. It will not work for Betaflight 4.5 at this time. It is beta firmware that is being put up on the web app for people to use, but it is critical to know and for ease of use if you are checking out pull requests and things like that, like we recently talked about in the Betaflight Altitude Hold PR that you can check out. So with this all understood, let's just talk about a couple little things of what you might need to know to utilize this and just let's see what the new interface looks like. One of the first things you may notice is when you plug in your flight controller and go up to this selecting drop down here, that it, you might have to hit this, I can't find my USB device. So you go ahead and click that. And then once you click that, that will present this dialog box or it should present this dialog box if everything's working correctly on your computer. This is similar to any other web-based application where it needs Chrome to access your USB port. So we're gonna go ahead and get connect on that. And once you do that, you should see, it should say Betaflight STM Electronics up here on the top. And with that done, if you are on the flashing page, you can then hit auto detect and you can see a little variation here in the buttons down here. And then it, this is all normal procedure here and you still have the cloud build systems. So for example, if we're gonna do that out hold PR, we can do the 13816 PR here and you can see it actually comes up as something you can select down here. It's actually, I haven't noticed this in the old configurators much, but you can actually in this one, just type in a keyword like out hold, basically the PR name, and then you can just select it there. Now, as outlined in that specific PR, we had to add this custom define here as well. From there, we would go ahead and just hit build firmware online and it will build that PR and then you can flash that direct. If you need to flash that, you're gonna hit flash I'm gonna hit ignore, of course, uh, if you, unless you need to back up. And then again, another dialog may come up here where you have to select the USB drive when it flips into bootloader mode. And then you'd select that and hit okay. And then it will go ahead and erase the firmware and flash the new firmware to your flight controller. So that would be for any flashing of Betaflight 4.6 or any custom PR you want to look at. As of right now in this version, you may need to unplug your flight controller and plug it back in to get it back into normal mode. It's kind of sticks in DFU mode. That's doesn't do that normally in the configurator. And then of course, after it connects again, you can just hit connect. Now in Betaflight 4.6, I think it's the same in 4.5, I can't recall. You don't need to load presets anymore or the custom define, it just does that automatically. So you would just connect right up just like in olden days. Uh, configurator by and large is the same buttons and things of that nature. The look is a little different, Some uh, a little better in some cases, a little it's a little bit more kind of contrasty, I would say. I'd have to I'd have to admit that part. But information like over here is a pretty welcome piece of information where it talks about the date the build was done, um, what MSP version, things like that. So that's kind of an all, uh, nice logs, configuration options. You can see all that information right here for your custom cloud build, which uh, it's not very. That's that's not great. But the uh, but it, you know just the having that information uh, at least come up and show up. Um, and again, they're still working on some of the stuff, uh, but it's a good information to have. It's in the, the configurator now, but it's not as apparent as it is here in the new build. As mentioned, just going down through the tabs are pretty much the same. I mean, just slightly different look so far, uh, but that will change over time. There is some definite formatting change here that you can see colors and things of that nature, but it's mostly just cosmetic. Of course, in this specific build that we made that to check out altitude hold in Betaflight, you can actually see here's my altitude hold mode. So to enable that in the new version of Betaflight that has this PR specifically built for this, which it looks like this is about to be merged into the uh, master for Betaflight 4.6, we would just check this on and set this. And then when you would go into this mode, that would enable altitude hold and it would be based on your GPS and barometer and a bunch of stuff that we're gonna check out. Unfortunately, it does not work with the phone app yet. You can see here, if I go to Betaflight or apps.betaflight.com on Google Chrome on my Android 
S20 phone. Uh, I'm not getting, you know, this says, says that you need Chrome, which I am on. That's a recognized bug, but it will be, it is being looked at. It will be looked at. So, you know, keep, uh, keep that link handy, I would say. Uh, that would probably be fixed in the near future, and then you wouldn't need to do anything because it would just be right there, and then you could use your adapter and uh, make that work. Oh, look at that. Something came up to install, and it automatically... Oh, okay. Well, it installed the app, but it still didn't. I guess if you do that enough, it's uh, kind of like an app, a Google Chrome app that kind of installed here, but it's still not working here. So yeah, be on the lookout. You just keep that link handy and I would think that would just start working someday. Okay, well, that's it. Hopefully that helps if you're trying to look at the latest version of Betaflight 4.6 because there's some feature in there or whatever you just want to play around and how to actually connect with it because you cannot load 4.6 with the old configurator and connect to it. It won't allow you to connect. The nightly builds currently on the configurator are not processing appropriately. So this is really the only way to connect to it. And I don't think it was really noticed since July because everybody's on the development team is really just using this app, online app. So they're kind of testing both things at the same time. You could just build Betaflight yourself, but that has changed a little bit as well. So hopefully this is helpful and it can also give a little bit of a preview of where things are going. And uh, that's I think it's good. You know, we got the online black box version now where you can just go to blackbox.betaflight.com and that comes up. You don't have to worry about versions. Same thing for the configurator here. And then you can use both on your phone, Android, tablet, um, maybe even iDevices if you can get those connected uh, through USB, things like that. Thanks, everybody. Hope this helps, and we'll see you on the next one.